and welcome to Gardening with Grace. I'm Grace Manzer, horticulture agent in Pasquotank County. Today I'm going to talk about houseplants. Houseplants are a really great, relatively easy form of garden. Houseplants tend to have reduced issues with weeds and other pests when compared to traditional outdoor gardening. Now that's not to say that indoor plants require no maintenance, because they do. They still need to be watered, cut back and fertilized when necessary, and repotted. So today I'm going to show you the proper way to repot a plant. In front of me I have a beautiful philodendron that needs to be repotted because it's outgrown its current container. When I take the philodendron out of the pot that it is currently in, we can observe that the root growing in a circular pattern along the outside of the root ball as well as on the bottom. This is a condition known as pot bound. If we don't correct this pot-bound condition, then when the plant is placed into its new container, the roots will continue to grow in that circular fashion and not make use of the rest of the container space. So in order to remedy the pot-bound condition, we are going to actually go in with my pruners and I'm going to cut the root ball so that they are no longer moving in a circular fashion. I am then gonna take those roots and spread them out. Once I've done that, I'm going to place the plant into my new larger container. I'm going to place it down into the container and secure it in there. It's very important that you have your plant when you're putting it into its new container that you secure it in place properly. However, it is also important to consider that you shouldn't plant your plant in the new pot lower than the soil line that it's already at. If you do plant it lower than the soil line, you risk the stem rotting off at the soil line. So it's important to plant it at the correct depth. The last step in our process is going to be watering in our plant. It's important that you don't skip this step because watering in allows those roots that have newly been cut and are newly grow growing points, it allows them access to water, as well as putting our displaced soil back into place. Thank you so much for watching Gardening with Grace and I hope to see you next time.